So today I got my hands on a really fascinating product from Seed Studio called as Open UC2 10x AI microscope. So this little innovative device is in collaboration with Open UC2 and Seed Studio and this device is based on the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense board. Yes, the tiny little camera board, the one which fits in your fingertips is the heart of the microscope. But don't get fooled by the size of the camera as this device can analyze the particles as small as 4 micrometers. Just to give you a rough idea, a human hair is around 70 micrometers wide. So this microscope can detect the particles which are 18 times smaller than a human hair. That's seriously impressive for something so compact and affordable. So today in this video, we'll be checking out this microscope by trying out different different samples and we'll see some interesting particles that we cannot see through our naked eyes. But before moving to that interesting journey, let me first thanks to the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by LTM and you know what, LTM not just provide world class PCB designing software but with LTM 365, they are helping us with the complete electronics product development with really useful collaborative tool. Let me explain how it helps. For example, if you are reviewing a schematic and want to ask a specific detail about the design to let's say your software team, well, you can do that here. And later, they'll get an email where they can open the design in a web browser and they can also get easy access to datasheet of the component to get further information and later they can update you everything on the same page. In addition, when you send your PCB design to manufacturer, even they can comment down the issues like if the wires are too close to the pad, even they can search for any specific component or a path like VCC3 and later they can visualize it in 3D to ensure complete accuracy before manufacturing begins. Really useful, isn't it? And you know, what's the best part of watching this ad? Well, if you click my link provided in the description of this video, you will not only get the access to free trial version, but you can also get flat 25% off on the license purchase. So do check out the link provided in the description and now let's move ahead with that video. So this is how you'll receive the product which by the way is available for sale on the Seed Studios official website whose link I'll be attaching in the description of this video. So inside the box we get to see the actual microscope and put all the optics engine inside it along with the Xiao ESP32 Sense board. Later we get to see a flashlight which act as the main light source of the microscope. Then we get a USB type C cable to power up the device and two glass slides on which we can put the sample to be analyzed. So that's all about the unboxing experience. And now let's move ahead and see how to use the microscope. So to use it, we'll first remove the plastic housing and in this case, we get a magnetic holder in which we can add the glass slide and add that magnetic holder over it to hold the glass piece. And one more thing, below the cage we get to see this lens which can move up and down through the micrometer screw to adjust the focus. And this lens is interchangeable so you can remove it and add the new one as per your application. Later, we can add that plastic cage above the lens and can insert the sample to be visualized above it. Later, just power it up through a type C cable and we are good to go to visualize it through our smartphone. Just connect your phone with the access point created by this microscope and let it go to your web browser and open the IP address 192.168.4.1 and you will get this camera web server interface. Here, just click on start stream and now you can visualize the live footage from the microscope. Super easy, right? And oh, I forgot, you'll also need this flashlight which you need to put it on the top of the sample which will act as the main light source of the microscope. And with this, we have successfully learned how to use this microscope. It's so simple that even a 3 year old can use it quite easily. So now after knowing how to use it, let's try to visualize some microorganisms in it. Okay, so right now we'll test the uh, water that we actually drink in our office under this microscope and let's see what we find inside this water. Hopefully we should not find anything, but let's see. Okay, so this is a new syringe. I will take some sample of this water. This is enough and I will add it here. Perfect. So I'll add the light source. Perfect. Now let us try to focus. Okay, so I already found one particle. Oh, okay. 
so the focus is now complete now let's try to move the slide okay so i am able to see some small very very tiny particles i am really not sure what they are let's try to find something else oh 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 okay so i found some weird looking thing let's try to explore more okay everything seems pretty clear i i found couple of uh, particles definitely but uh, they are not moving oh, luckily okay so i think this is a uh, safe to drink i guess i don't know uh, if any uh, biologist watching this video they must be knowing more than what i know hey i found something let me see okay okay i found this very weird looking thing inside the water that we drink if you know what it is uh, you can let me know in the comments but yeah that was the sample of a filtered water that we drink and now let's move ahead and let's try to test a different samples and let's see what we find so later i went home and collected the sample of the tap water that comes in my home and i collected it in this syringe and now let's see uh, the tap water under this microscope so i'll add some sample here okay after that i'll turn on the torch and uh, put it on the microscope and now let's try to focus and see oh my god what is this ah the streaming is not from okay so we found a very very weird looking thing inside the tap water which doesn't seem moving so it's not live organism but it's really really weird look like a thread okay let's try to see more oh one more one more one more similar kind of uh, particle oh my god this is really very weird let's try to explore more okay so we found another particle it's also kind of dead i'm more interested in some moving organisms if possible but uh, unfortunately the tap water also doesn't have those kind of moving bacteria or moving microorganisms i'm just able to see this kind of uh, thread like structures or particles you can see oh the streaming is getting stuck okay so i found this new particle oh my god just look at this two particles this also seems uh, dead i don't know Oh, one more interesting and new particle found in this tap water. Wow! So a lot of different kind of particles uh, that I found in the tap water, but unfortunately, tap water also doesn't contains any kind of living organisms. Maybe this is also kind of a filtered water, we can say, because this comes from the municipality. Okay, so there's some kind of processing done before you know sending the water. So, but but yeah, there are a couple of more uh, particles uh, which I found here as compared to the uh, regular drinking water. But I'm kind of curious to see the living particles, the moving particles. So uh, let's try to collect uh, some other samples. sample from different source so later we went to the nearby lake and collected this sample uh, from that lake hoping that uh, we may find some living uh, microorganisms in that particular water sample and let me collect it in this syringe now let's try to visualize this particular sample inside the microscope and let's see what kind of interesting particles we find inside the lake water so i'll insert the sample here okay and now i'll put the source of light try to focus okay now let's try to move this oh there are a lot of big particles in this particular sample but none of them is moving okay, okay. Okay, I can see some moving particles as well, some moving microorganisms. Searching for food, I guess. <laughs> okay, interesting. Let's try to explore more. Oh, this is kind of the biggest particle I ever seen under the microscope. Must be algae, I guess. Again, again, some tiny little moving 
organisms oh this is interesting as you can see there are a lot of uh, tiny organisms moving around this uh, algae i guess but yes there are living organisms as well under this lake water sample this is so interesting and uh, a lot of weird looking particles are there inside this particular sample so definitely this lake water sample was pretty pretty interesting we get to see a lot of things inside this under this microscope and now let's try to explore more with one very interesting sample so for the next uh, sample what you're going to do is when i've heard online that uh inside the blood the rbcs are around 7 to 8 micrometers and this microscope can see the particles as low as 4 micrometers so it will be very interesting to see the blood sample under the microscope so <laughs> let's, let's test it out okay so i'll i'll, I'll try to uh, take the sample of my own blood <laughs> let's see okay oh, dheere Oh, okay, okay. What come blood? Hai. And now I'll put it inside this. I'll add the light source. Okay, let's try to observe it. Oh my God! This is how blood looks like under the microscope. Is it for real? Wow. Oh, I'm also able to see some cells moving inside my blood sample. There are the small, small particles. I, I'm not sure whether these are the RBC or WBCs or those kind of uh, cells. But they are, there are a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny cells inside the sample. Some of them are moving as well. It's very hard to stabilize uh, uh, this thing. So yeah, that was uh, my blood sample under the microscope. Okay, I saw somewhere uh, like the cells were moving. Uh, uh, a lot of cells were moving. I was not able to uh, stabilize that particular part of the sample. But yes, I, uh, we are able to see a lot of lot of lot of tiny tiny cells in this particular sample, and this is really very interesting. Like with this compact size, with this small device, with this shower, yes, but there's a sense we can actually see. Uh, the particles as small as four micrometers which is insane i really liked it so that was all about the microscope from seed studio but the question is for whom this microscope is made for well what i think this is for curious people like me the one who are always curious to know how things works and how it's made of this device is definitely for you and also i think this is a really good device for all the professor who teaches science to students well they can definitely consider this to showcase real microorganisms live in their classes rather than just showing the still images in the textbook or on google this will definitely help students to learn and understand better so that's my take on this microscope and now you let me know what do you think about this like will you be considering this hundred dollar microscope to see the real life microorganisms or you'll just consider google to see the images of it share thoughts down in the comments of the video and yeah that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me take sms